To the people who are like, that's cap, bro, Popeye's mac and cheese sucks. What are you on? Look at this. It's from a separate location and it looks perfect. Mmm. Put a little on the sandwich with some cane sauce. Look at that bite. This is like a 7.8. For sure the best fast food mac and cheese. Mm. I still haven't had the loaded potatoes at Taco Bell. It just looks like crispy potatoes, sour cream, and queso. Oh, these smack. Mm. Put some mild sauce on there. Got a good bite. Oh, yes, daddy. This is so good. Mm. As far as the Taco Bell menu goes, these are like a 9 out of 10. This is a must get here. Top 5 in Nashville hot chicken list coming soon. Main chick was very highly suggested. So let's see what the hype's about. I got the combo one, slider, tender, and fries. Great crunch and great spice. The bun is fantastic. Let's dip it in some sauce. Ooh. Sauce is pretty good. Let's try some fries. They're almost orange from how much seasoning they put on this, which I love. Really good crunch, really nice and pillowy on the inside. Mm. And last but not least, the chicken tender. That crunch has me. Mm. The tenders here are a little flatter. I personally like it a little more plump. The chicken on the inside, super juicy, and it's seasoned beautifully. Okay, main chick. I would give the sandwich a 7.9. I would give the tenders an 8.1. For an average score of 8.0 flat, possibly going on my top five list. Check them out. The very highly revered Whole Foods Sushi. I got the tiger roll. It's like some shrimp on the top. Sushi rice, obviously. What? How much was this? This? For real? Erewhon Sushi for supermarket sushi shits on this. No. This was also 15 bucks. For supermarket sushi, this is a 5.5. Trying some deep dish pizza. Apparently, this is the best. Oh my god, that's sausage. What did he say? <laughs> the sauce is nice and tangy, not overly sweet. I personally don't like Chicago deep dish that much because all the texture just mushes into one. For Chicago deep dish in LA, this is probably the best I've had. Overall, giving this a 7.7 .7 out of 10. If you're in LA and you're craving deep dish, check it out. Try Armenian food. I've had it before, but these are things that I've never had. Armenians have their own version of dumplings and it's called Monty. Crispy ground beef dumpling topped with like this garlic yogurt sauce. Mmm. This is fire. The garlic yogurt sauce is pretty tangy. The ground beef in there, I think, has a lot of fat in it. <laughs> so it tastes fantastic. And then you got that crispy coating. This is called kosh kosh kebab. It's lula or ground beef topped with this roasted tomato. Yo. <laughs> what the f This tomato mixture has a ton of spices in it. This is going to be a very, very high rating. Go peel off. The juice of the lula and the tomato have like seeped into the rice. Oh my God, let's throw that in some pita bread. Mm. Okay, this place is called Monty in Studio City, named after the dumplings. I would give this a 9.3 out of 10. This was amazing. This is the best burrito in LA. The chili relleno burrito at La Azteca Tortilleria in East LA. Mm. It feels like a lightning bolt just at the tip of my pee. Their flour tortilla is perfect. The poblano pepper on the inside adds a nice layer of heat. The cheese oozes out when you bite into it and the meat is nicely barbecued. Overall, I would give this burrito a 9.5 out of 10. Seriously, one of the best burritos I've ever had. Mm. Trying some of LA's best new burgers and I have a guest. It's Shay Mitchell. Finding a good turkey burger is really hard, but look at how insane this looks. What did you get? This burger is made from the menu, the movie. Did you just whip out hot sauce from your purse? Sure did. I'll give you a couple drops. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Some fries? Mm-hmm. You're about to dip your fries in your... Oh, my Lord. These are the best fries in the city. Actually, ever. Can you pass them over? What are you talking about? No, I mean... <laughs> can I get a bite of your turkey burger? Sure can. You want a bite of mine? Yeah, obviously. Wow. Mm, this is the best turkey burger I think I've ever had. Same. It's a drooled as I said that. Uh-huh. Okay. It's like a turkey smash burger. I would give this a 9.3 out of 10. This burger is perfection. I can only judge it 10 out of 10. With the first 10 out of 10, Shay Mitchell. This would also pair really well with an Onda. What is an Onda? Let me tell you about it, Kev. An Onda is a tequila-based sparkling seltzer, okay? It has okay. all natural flavors, 100 calories, okay. zero sugar, Whole Foods, Ralph's, Rite Aid. Yeah. Cincinnati chili is a thing. They put cinnamon 
in the chili. This is either gonna be great or disgusting. Starting off with the chili dog. The cheese is pretty good. The quality of the hot dog kind of sucks. Not the biggest fan of this. And what they're most famous for, chili on spaghetti. I think you have to pour some of their hot sauce on it too. Got a nice little bit of that cheese. This actually doesn't look half bad. I would probably never go out of my way to eat this. Oh, second bite was bad. I'm not a big fan of this. I'd give this like a 3.2 out of 10. I'd give the chili dog like a 4.2 out of 10. That's what Cincinnati chili is for me. Reviewing in and out and I have a guest. Oji. Oji. Welcome to LA. Salute. How you doing? Let's review the fries first. Eh, yeah. Their fries suck. The poor bastard back there is like, huh? <laughs> and like they're not even getting anything out of it. <laughs> a double double with whole grilled onions. That's for you, sir. Let's give it a try. Solid. Sauce is good. No, oh, what do they call it? In and out spread? They just call it spread. Burger sauce. Onions, solid. Normally when you get those whole cut onions, they just pull. These, you bite into it, it takes it right off. Cuisine means cousin, right? Yes. In Italian? Your real name is Danny. That's the word on the street. Did anyone else not know that? Oh, what's a maron? It's from like maron de mia. It's like, oh my god, wow. How many marons? Burger. Like eight marons? Fries. Trash. They're getting like, <laughs> they're fucking garbage. Should have give them like two marons. Two marons? I never give below like a six maron. I don't even know why I'm wasting the calories on it. There you have it. Thank you, buddy. Salute. Go follow Meals by Cooj. Brush your hair. This is apparently the best breakfast burrito in LA. It comes from a place called Lazy Daisy. Apparently the move is to get it with chicken. Chipotle aioli. I didn't think the chicken in this would actually be this good. You got a good crunch on the exterior. Listen to this. It was pretty crispy. It's a tiny bit egg heavy. The chipotle aioli is a little smoky for my liking. Look at that crispy potato just rearing its head out. Mm. Is it the best breakfast burrito I've had in LA? No, I think Corner Cottage and Cafe Los Feliz are both better than this. However, this might be the best breakfast burrito around the Beverly Hills area. This is very good. An 8.3 out of 10. You should absolutely come try this. Mm. This may come as a shock to a lot of you, but there was a time in my life where I was so anxious and depressed. The thought of eating literally made me want to puke. I just got bullied really badly, lost pretty much all my friends overnight. And for the next five or six months, it was a constant battle of depression, anxiety, not wanting to eat, not wanting to do anything, just literally wanting to curl up in my bed and not leave the house. And I don't know who needs to hear this today, but there was a time in that chunk of my life where I didn't think I'd be able to pull myself out of it. So if you're looking at this and you're going through something, Trust me when I tell you, you are strong enough to pick yourself up out of it. You may not think class is in session, but right now you're being taught lessons you don't even know you're being taught. And it's going to help shape the person you want to become in the future. Take the lessons that life is teaching you right now. And when you see somebody in the same position that you're in now, just remember you were there once and you can help put them back up. Happy holidays. This is a hundred dollar potato. A hundred bucks. For, potato. For those of you that don't believe me, here's my receipt. Some potato, some caviar. It is pretty good. The potato is super soft and silky and the caviar adds a nice amount of salt on top, which does make me a little moist. This is some chive cream. I said to put it inside and get a bite with everything. That's what it looks like. That was a great bite. It's like a chive butter. Mmm, that makes it a thousand times better. Is this worth a hundred dollars? Fuck no. Does it taste good? Sure. This is like a 7.8 out of 10. I would much rather eat other stuff. Charlie's Philly cheesesteaks. You mainly see these at shopping malls, but a lot of people swear by it. That's good. Mmm, I fucking like this. Let's give these fries a shot. It's got good crisp and it's fluffy. There's pretty much no salt on this. They're okay. I got the bacon three cheesesteak. The bread is fantastic. I got it with jalapenos, so it cuts through all the richness pretty nicely. My main criticism is that the beef is a little dry. Aside from that, it's a pretty solid sandwich. I would give this a 7.9 out of 10. A lot of you seem to think Wendy's has better breakfast than McDonald's. First up, the potato wedges. Oh, those are so good. Then I got a sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit. That is dry. Sausage tastes like every other fast food sausage. This is a frosty chino. Half frosty, half chino. This is not good. And lastly, the breakfast baconator. My God, there's a lot of bacon in here. Bacon is super crispy. The egg in this is over medium. Mm. This is as good as a McGriddle. Wendy's breakfast is better than Wendy's lunch and dinner. Up there with McDonald's for best fast food breakfast you can get. 7.6 out of 10. It's raining balls in LA right now, so naturally everybody's losing their mind. But I got myself some barbecue. A lot of you guys suggested this place, Holy Cow. Oh, it looks pretty good. 
first bite, some tri-tip. It doesn't have that much flavor, but it's very tender. Some brisket. The brisket has good flavor, but it's very dry. And now for some baby back ribs. Mmm, definitely the best meat so far. You gotta suck all the meat off the bone. Some pretty questionable looking mac and cheese. There's like close to no cheese sauce on this at all. If you come here, stick to the tri-tip and the ribs. As far as barbecue goes, I've definitely had better. I'd probably give this around a 6.8 out of 10. I think I might have come here on an off day, but definitely come by and get the baby back ribs because these are fantastic. Everybody's saying Five Guys is better than In-N-Out. Let's see. At first glance, this looks really good. How the f people think this is better than In-N-Out? The patty, super bland. I don't know if you can see, but there's so much bun and it's kind of dense. I don't know if this hits different on the East Coast, but in LA, this sucks. In-N-Out, $6. Five Guys, $15. This is not worth close to 15 bucks. I remember their fries being really good. I will say this, where In-N-Out falls short, which is their French fries, Five Guys blows them out of the water. I would give the fries a 9.6 out of 10. The burger, I would give a 6.3 out of 10 at best. This is not better than In-N-Out. It will never be better than In-N-Out. Stop saying that. The amount of you that have tagged me to go try this is nuts. The Chilaquiles breakfast burrito from Los Dos Chingones. For those of you that don't know what Chilaquiles are, they're tortilla chips cooked in salsa topped with an egg on it. And these geniuses put that in a breakfast burrito. My main question was gonna be if the chips are still crispy, and they are. This is very f good. Spicy habanero salsa. Look at that bite. This is one of the best breakfast burritos I've ever had. The red salsa they tossed the chips in. Spicy, a little bit smoky. The carnitas. Tender, fatty. My only criticism is that the eggs are unseasoned. With that said, one of my highest ratings of the year and a new induction in the top five best breakfast burritos in LA. A 9.2 out of 10, which is insanely high for unseasoned eggs. Mm. Kyochan is better than Bonchan. Let's see. Starting off with a regular honey wing. I actually used to come to Kyochan in middle school with my friend Paul. Shout out Paul Yoon. It was great back in the day. Honestly, it might be better now. I remember these red wings being so spicy as a kid. Nice and spicy, a little lacquer at the same time. The potato wedges at Kyochan are fire. And lastly, the very highly recommended crispy rice chicken strip. Yo. Apparently I'm supposed to dip it in this garlic sauce. Tastes like a really garlicky honey mustard. I could probably drink that as a morning smoothie. Anchan doesn't have as many flavors, but the flavors that they do have, they do very well. Kyochan has a little more variety. Altogether, I'd give this an 8.3 out of 10. It's delicious. Please try the spicy famous bowl from KFC. It's the best fast food item ever. I'm not gonna lie, this actually looks incredible. Mm. You have crispy and spicy fried chicken, creamy mashed potatoes and gravy, corn, a more beautiful thing. It's cold. And cheese. Mmm. I would probably throw this in the top 15 best fast food dishes I've ever had. It has to be at least 1,500 calories. I would say this and the sandwich are the two best things at KFC. Now that I'm getting a little deeper, the potatoes are pretty bland. That's probably why they put a gallon of gravy on it. I would still give this a 7.8. Mmm. Reviewing in and out with one core difference. Instead of spread, we're using cane sauce. And this is what she looks like. Mmm. The sauce has more peppery notes and it's less sweet than spread. So it goes really well. You could put this sauce on a condom and it will taste fantastic. I also got some animal fries without spread. The fries here just suck. Oh dude, you gotta get them well done. No, they still suck. But with cane sauce, it's still pretty good. Mm. I may prefer In-N-Out with cane sauce. Altogether, I'd give this combo a 9.2 out of 10. It is so good. These are the top five breakfast burritos in LA. I've tried dozens of breakfast burritos over the last eight months. These are the best. Two honorable mentions, Koufax Coffee Shop on Fairfax, and of course, Erewhon's Breakfast Burrito. At number five, we have Cluck and Blaze for the Nashville Hot Chicken Breakfast Burrito. At number four, Nate's Corner in Santa Ana, 
Make sure to get that sauce on the side. Starting the top three with a strong one, Corner Cottage in Burbank. A lot of people think this is number one. I think it's number three because in my opinion, these two are better. Number two, Cafe Los Feliz. Not only is the burrito phenomenal, the sauce they give you on the side is also exquisite. And at the number one spot with the best breakfast burrito in LA, I got to give it up to Wake and Late. And they're opening up a few more locations, so everyone's going to be able to try it. There you have it. Let me know if I missed anything. You guys chose where I'm eating on Instagram, and you guys chose Biria Los Socios. Dipping in some consomme. Oh. Some cilantro and onion. Some salsa. I seriously don't recommend eating this in the car unless you're wearing a bathing suit. Some horchata. Very, very chalky. And last but not least, a giant mulita. I don't even know how I'm supposed to eat this. That mulita is really good. A little dip in some consomme. It's good, but it lacks a punch. Okay, Birria Los Socios. It's pretty good, but I wouldn't wait in line for it. Overall, I'll give us a 7.2 out of 10. Pumpkin spice season has arrived. Everybody is on this drink's dick. Pumpkin cream cold brew. I am now on this drink's dick. The creamy dati on top is very nice as well. This is the iced pumpkin spice latte. Oh my god. The cinnamon really comes through on this one. This is the classic, and this is so far the best one. And lastly, a pumpkin spiced frappuccino. This is good, but my beef with frappuccinos is that you're just sucking and sucking and sucking. It's not worth it. Pause. This is at number three. Pumpkin cream cold brew at number two. And the pumpkin spice latte at number one. In terms of coffee drinks, 8.2. I'm only judging this on taste and not the quality of the coffee. Trying things at Shake Shack I've never had before. Bourbon bacon chicken sandwich. It tastes like America in a bad way. Like sweet and smoky. But the chicken's incredible. You can get fries with cheese sauce. Holy fuck, this is so good. And lastly, the shroom burger. Cheese stuffed mushroom in a burger. By the way, I love the little burger diaper. Very nice touch, Shake Shack. Mm -hmm. This is a tasty burger. You'll probably have instant cholesterol issues after this, but my God, is it good. Mm. I'll give this and the fries an 8.3. The chicken sandwich like a 6.5. A lot of you guys suggested Nurses when I made my top five kebab list. So let's give it a shot. Wow. Everyone said to get the beef sultani here. The flavor is good, but the kubida is a little dense. It doesn't melt in your mouth. It's just got a bite of rice. It's a little dry. This needs some somach, or as some of you pronounce it, sumac. Oh, there we go. Somach, rice, some tomato, and some kubida. It's good, but it's not mind-blowing. Some barrack, some rice, and some tomato. The beef barrack is pretty good. There's a good amount of char on it. It's pretty overcooked. For how many people suggested this place, this is not that good. I may have had this on an off day. I'd give us a 7.3 at best. I'd happily change my score down the line. If you're in Glendale, it's still worth a shot, though. Dave's Hot Chicken just dropped a Nashville Hot Cauliflower. They're calling it Dave's Not Chicken. We're going to try the regular and the cauliflower and compare. First up, the regular hot chicken. Mm. Oh yeah, that's a good refresher. And now for the beautiful looking cauliflower. This looks very promising. Mm. This is amazing. This is what it looks like on the inside. The cauliflower is soft and it has a very meaty texture. The actual cauliflower flavor is very faint. You barely even taste it. It's magnificently crispy. It's almost like a cleaner, in some ways better version of the chicken. Woo, it's hot. Now let's make a bite the way I'd actually eat it. Some Dave sauce, some honey. That's what it looks like. I got a bigger bite of cauliflower on that one. It was a little more prevalent, but this is fantastic. I would low-key order this. If the regular hot chicken sandwich is an 8.8 .8 out of 10, I would give the cauliflower an 8.6 out of 10. If I was a vegetarian, I'd eat this twice a week. Highly, highly recommend trying this. Mmm. Trying some stuff at Panda Express I've never had before. First up, they have teriyaki chicken. You're supposed to get this teriyaki sauce and pour it over. This looks pretty good. Oh. This may be some of the worst teriyaki sauce I've ever had. Actual chicken is really good. Their new honey sesame chicken. Mmm, super crispy. It's huge. It is really sweet. They definitely don't go light on the honey. This with the teriyaki sauce is a four. Without, I would give this a 7.7. .7. This is a 7.1. 
Mm. A lot of you sit to think Tacos Por Favor has the best California burrito in LA. And I got carne asada. Some salsa roja for daddy. Mm. Do I still think french fries do not belong in a burrito? Yes. Is this fire? Yeah. It's so rich. The salsa roja is really spicy, so it cuts through all the richness. Wow. The symmetry of ingredients is also phenomenal. The only criticism I have, which was my criticism of the other one, is that it's too creamy, daddy. I would give the tacos, por favor, California burrito, an 8.0 out of 10. It's fire. Try Syrian food? Let's do it. I'm at a spot called Kobe Factory. This is what's called the Kobe Fried. Look at that. The beef on the inside is glistening. Yo. The breading on the outside is nice and delicate, and the beef on the inside is super juicy. The lady behind the counter said to dip it in their hummus. And now I got some ground beef kebab. I'm a very harsh kebab critic, although the flavor of this is fantastic. The texture is a little dense. Everything in one bite. Okay, Syrian food. I would give the Kobe a 9.5 out of 10. I would give the kebab a 7.5 out of 10. And I am very curious to know who has the best Syrian kebab in LA now. This is the best Nashville hot chicken in LA. It comes from the one and only Hal and Ray's. This also may just be the best fried chicken, period, in LA. Mm. The chicken is ridiculously juicy, unbelievably crispy. The slaw, nice and acidic, and it's actually spicy. And this is a hidden gem on their menu, the juicy fries. Has the sauce, has spicy vinegar. Mm. All around, I would give Howlin' Ray's a 9.6 out of 10. And I would say this is a top five LA restaurant. Mm. All of you told me that Gold Tong Chicken had the best Korean fried chicken. I'm pretty sure the owner was taking my order. You could just tell he's such a sweetheart, really hoping that this is going to taste good. So the sweet soy first. It's got some jalapenos on there. Mm. The sauce is sweet and salty, so if you don't like spicy, this is right up your alley. Let's try a strawberry. That's kind of weird. And this is the sweet chili. The sauce on this one's a little too sweet for my liking. He also gave me the sauce. What is this? Oh my lord. It tastes like a combo of Papa John's garlic butter and honey mustard. It's one of the best chicken dipping sauces I've ever had. I would give the sweeter one a 7.9 and I would give the soy one a 9.2. And whatever this sauce is, I would give a 9.5. The only thing preventing me from saying Jersey Mike's is the best sub chain known to mankind is the tuna. Huh? Damn. Come on, that looks good. Mike's way with avocado, jalapeno, and extra CPR, cherry pepper relish. They don't put a gallon of mayo in it, so it's not overly creamy, Betty. Tuna itself is actually pretty good quality. Everything else inside, fire. You guys already know my trick. Chipotle mayo and buffalo sauce. Still the best way to have a Jersey Mike sandwich. I honestly thought Subway's tuna might actually be better than this. It's still far superior. If I'm comparing it to the best tuna sandwiches I've ever had. 7.0 flat out of 10. This is a top five LA pizza. Just, just look at this. It's Detroit style pizza from D-Town Pizza in West Hollywood. <laughs> oh my God. Mm. Just look at the crust of this pizza. It's gorgeous. Sauce is outstanding. The dough is perfect. They have these crispy edges. The ranch is also supposed to be really good there. Mm. Oh my god. I think outside of Wingstop, this is the best ranch I've ever had. Got a little funkiness to it that I really like. Look at that bite. Mm. Got some hot honey on there too. Mm, sorry. If you live in LA, you have to try this. 9.2 out of 10. Mm. Peruvian food, one of the most underrated cuisines in the game. Lomo Saltado, the one at Lonzo's Peruvian in Culver City, is made with filet mignon. Let's crack the egg on the rice. Let's make sure that yolk gets all... Make sure that yolk gets all up in the rice. Think of Lomo Saltado as like a Peruvian stir fry with fries. This is the elite bite. Some steak, some tomato, some onion, and some fries. Almost forgot. Some spicy ahi.
There's some soy in that, a little bit of vinegar. Look at the crust on the filet. Mm. This ahi, by the way, that good. Anzos got hit really hard with the pandemic. They had to let go of a lot of their staff. So go support them and have yourself a 9.2 out of 10 lunch. Cheers. Jersey Mike's apparently makes a chicken Philly. So I'm about to try it. It's actually not bad. I'm gonna put a little bit of buffalo sauce on it too. I got the Chipotle chicken Philly. So there's a good amount of mayo in it. I think with the buffalo sauce, it's gonna be even better. The peppers and onions add a really nice sweetness. It's very rich, so it definitely needs the buffalo sauce. Look at that bite with the buffalo. Is this better than a Philly cheesesteak? It sort of depends on your mood. I would probably prefer a cheesesteak, but this is still fantastic. I would give this like a 7.2 out of 10. In this bag is some of the breast, breast, some of the best breakfast tacos in LA. <gasps> First, you have to go with the classic chorizo and egg. If we're having Tex-Mex tacos, you got to get a side of queso. Daddy! That is quite delightful. The eggs are cooked very well. Handmade flour tortillas, and then the queso's nice and creamy, daddy. Daddy. This is the off-the-menu shredded brisket taco. This is actually my favorite one. Just dripping everywhere. I should call her. Mm. There's some potato in that, too. The pico de gallo in this makes it. It's super limey. When I was doing research for my best breakfast burrito list, everyone told me to come here for the tacos. They don't disappoint. They're fantastic. I would give the home state breakfast tacos an 8.2 out of 10. Get the queso when you're here. I've said it once and I'll say it again. The Croft Alley tuna melt is one of the best sandwiches in Los Angeles. Listen to the scrunch. Bread. The bread is beautiful. The tuna doesn't have a gallon of mayo in it. Really nice, well-balanced. And the cheese, dab St. Augustine. Still one of my favorite sandwiches in Beverly Hills. 9.1 out of 10. The best food in LA, episode three. The best healthy salad comes from Health Nut. My personal definition of healthy, under 500 calories and over 30 grams of protein. Primals need to know. Noodle Rama salad. And this spicy Asian dressing is what makes it. Chicken, rice, noodles, romaine, a little bit of everything in one bite. Oh, I can swim naked in that dressing. Daddy, chill. It's spicy, it's peppery. It's got a really good amount of vinegar in it. The chicken's kind of dry, but it absorbs the dressing really well. Overall, I'd give the Noodle Rama a 7.8 out of 10. For how healthy this is, I would give this a 9.2 out of 10. Trying some of my favorite fried chicken, and I have a guest. <laughs> this is your first time trying Jollibee, right? Yes, sir. We're gonna go chicken on its own first. There you go, daddy. Pause. <laughs> this is the spicy chicken joy. Bro, this is exactly how I imagine it tastes. Lips tingling from the spice? I don't even want to tell you what's tingling right now. Also, do you notice how the chicken is dripping with juice? I ate it too quick. I ain't even gonna lie, I ain't noticed none of that. Our pineapple drink? Gas. Oh. Okay. Oh, this is crazy. Look at how girthy this one is. That's that's pretty. That's for you, bro. Appreciate that, mm -hmm. boy. Nice little dip. Uh? That was him. That wasn't me. <laughs> Bro. Bro, this is probably the best chicken I ever had. This beats Popeyes. And I've been saying for four years, Popeyes is the best chicken. And now for peach mango pie. I had this once and I thought it was whatever. I thought it tasted very artificial. Is your shit stuck too? Yeah. <laughs> it exploded. It sucks to be you. What do you think? It's okay. There's gonna be people in your comments like, of course you take the black guy to a chicken spot. Bro, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> what are you rating Jollibee? 1 through 10. 10 is the best thing you've ever put in your mouth. I would give it a 9.7. Love it. Go follow Angry Reactions. That was beautiful. First time trying Church's Chicken. I got the spicy chicken sandwich. This looks fire. The sauce they put in this, it's actually spicy. Wish it was a slightly thicker piece of meat. That's what she said. The pickles on the bun, amazing. The sauce. Let's try their creamy jalapeno sauce. Mmm. Sauce has me bricked up. Wait, what? Next up, we got a two-piece with mashed potatoes and gravy and what looks like an unbelievable biscuit. Is church is good? Oh, look at that piece of chicken. Mmm. So juicy. And the skin, just listen to this. That's some mashed potatoes and gravy. It's all right. Jolly Bees is a lot better. Chicken with some mashed potatoes. 
I really like this place. And up there with Jollibee for some of the best fast food fried chicken you can get. I'd give the chicken sandwich like a 7.9 out of 10. I'd give the actual fried chicken a 9.2 out of 10. This is a creme brulee crepe. Nutella strawberries, custard, then they put sugar and torch it. And then it looks like this. Mmm. Uh, mommy? Wow, that's delicious. Typically when people torch stuff, it just tastes like whatever gas they're torching it with. But this has none of that. It's surprisingly not too sugary either. I don't taste much of the Nutella. Oh, I got the Nutella. This is outstanding. I would easily wait in a 10 or 15 minute line for this. 8.4 out of 10 on the dessert scale. Gotta come try this. Thousands of you told me to try these two things at Starbucks. First off, the bacon Gouda sandwich. Loki kind of smells good. Mmm. It's pretty solid. My main issue with it is that there's barely any bacon in it. New sugar cookie latte. Oh. This tastes like sugary gin. And next, the spinach feta egg white wrap. Wish they had more of the spinach mixture in there. The egg in this is also not seasoned at all. It's also not bad, but it's not great. I'd give the bacon gouda a 7.0 out of 10. Spinach feta wrap, I'd give a 6.7. Rating random stuff from Trader Joe's. Chana masala. For those of you that don't know what chickpeas are, it's what's commonly used to make hummus. Shout out to Erewhon for also having a very good chana masala. Random, I know. I don't know a microwave, so conventional oven for 20 to 25 minutes. You look lovely today. A spoon. It's got a little spice to it. Right here, gets you right here. The chickpeas are still firm. This poured over rice, oh. vegetarian and fire. On the Trader Joe scale, I'd give this an 8.3 out of 10. I gave in. The new Chipotle quesadilla. Let's give it a shot without anything. Doesn't suck. For those of you that know, smoky Tabasco and their salad dressing. I love Chipotle's guac. Some of the salad dressing. That looks good. This is honestly kind of whatever. I would never drive to Chipotle to have this. I would rather get a bowl or a burrito. 5.8 out of 10. Still some of the best tortilla chips in the game. First time reviewing a torta. It's a chicken mole torta. No salsa first. The bread is outstanding. Also, it comes from a bakery, so I'd expect nothing less. The chicken mole is actually pretty good. They put chipotle in their refried beans, and it kind of takes over the whole sandwich. Let's try some salsa. Oh, yes, father. This salsa is great. Don't get me wrong, this is good, but I would never get this over tacos or a burrito. 6.7. Birria tacos in New York. Let's see if this even compares to LA. Consume, birria taco. What? Aside from the cheese that they use being a little weird, these stand up to LA Birria tacos. They're not amazing, but this is definitely solid. El Jalapeno Food Truck in West Village. Compared to LA, I would give these a 7.9 out of 10. The top two taco places that I've been to in New York now are Los Tacos Number 1 in Chelsea Market and El Jalapeno Food Truck. I know I'm late, but I'm trying the viral feta pasta. First off, this looks amazing. Just come look. Let's give it a shot. That is actually fantastic. It's not as salty as I thought it would be. Some Parmesan snow. That bite's perfect. I know I'm late, but this is amazing, especially for how easy it was to make. I would give this a 9.1 out of 10. Mm. People also seem to think Burger King has better chicken nuggets than McDonald's. I wouldn't kick them out of bed, but not better than McDonald's. Finally made it out to Lucky Boy. Apparently this is one of the best breakfast burritos in LA right now. Bold. I got a sausage and I got a bacon. Starting off with the sausage. I love the amount of cheese they put on this. Love the tortilla. All I taste is potatoes. This is also kind of one dimensional. If the potatoes had some crisp to it, it would be a lot better. Got some salsa. That looks fire. The salsa needs to pack a harder punch. Kinda gets lost in the rest of the burrito. Moving on to the bacon, this looks pretty good. Mmm. The bacon's really nice and crispy. This is the textural component I was looking for. Try it with some salsa. Any bite you get with potato on this, all you taste is potato. And it's not seasoned. Overall, probably giving this a 6.3 out of 10. Nothing special. Probably wouldn't come back to get this.